use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. The representations of feeling physical sensations. We know that our bodies are just a projected physical representation of our energy pattern or form. However, not only is the physical and visible form projected, but so is the represented sensations. When someone touches your arm or you burn your finger, you think that you can feel the exact place that it happened, but it is just a projected phenomenon as much as the physical image is. The actual mechanics of the incident go like this. First, your represented finger touches a represented hot surface, and then you feel a represented burn, and the place where the burn was represented, you feel the pain. Nothing and this entire event actually happened. Every single step and element was a total representation. The system was matched up perfectly. If it wasn't, you might have felt the burn on the other hand. In that case, the visual, physical representation and the feeling burning sensations and pain would not have been in sync. It would have not been synchronized. When you feel a touch or a burn, on a certain place, such as your finger, the feeling of it is generated to seem like it's in the same exact place, but it is not. There is no feeling at that location, only the feeling that there is a feeling at that location. This is perfect alignment of your sensations with your physical form. They match up perfectly. If you cover the place where your eyes are, then you have no sensation of sight. If you place an onion in front of the place that is your nose, you will smell the onion. If you place your finger in a flame, you will feel the pain in the same place as the flame supposedly touched your finger. I'm not knocking this wonderful system of physical reality. It is a magnificent creation. I am just saying that I can show you that these parts are really separate and that they are adjustable by you at will. Then you can tailor your own reality in some very interesting ways. You know what? Your system works very well. I really think that I'm seeing from my eyes and when I feel something on my arm, I look and sure enough, there's something there. The feeling and the visual observation always seem to match up perfectly. Frankly, I'm glad that it works as well as it does because if it didn't, we would have a messed up experience. When someone touches you on your back, it is easy to tell where it is happening, right? I mean, if someone is rubbing a stick on your back, you could tell, right? In this next video example, experimenters have set up what they call a virtual out-of-body experience. This interesting experiment causes the person to miscalculate the actual location of their body and where their feelings should be located. This setup causes the feeling of being touched to feel like it is happening about six feet away from them. The feeling is located in an area where there is no body. That is to say, the bo there's no body there. I don't mean no body. I mean no body. There's no body there. And it is nowhere near where the actual touching is going on. Video example, virtual out-of-body experience. 
what is this video about? In this video example, the woman in the white has on a virtual reality headset. This means that she has two video screens in front of her eyes a couple of inches away. This makes it seem like she is really seeing an image in front of her. The camera on the left side of the picture is filming her from behind and the image in the white box upper right hand corner is the actual image that she is seeing from the camera. As the other woman in the brown outfit strokes her back she can feel the sensation while at the same time she can see it happening in real time. Her view of the action makes her feel like she is out of her body because she can see herself from six feet behind. It looks like the touching is out in front of where she is actually standing. She is watching herself from behind in her headset vision system. The weird thing about it is that she thinks that the image of herself that she is watching from behind is really her physical body. That is to say that she thinks that she is watching herself from outside of her own body as if she was really experiencing an out-of-body experience, thus the virtual out-of-body experience. This is the same view that people have experienced and reported in out-of-body experiences due to near-death experience. They would be out of their body, usually near the ceiling, watching the doctors working on their body from an outside point of view. So when she feels the stroking on her back, she feels it six feet in front where she sees her own image. She thinks that her body is in the same place where she sees her image. That is where she thinks her body is and so that is where she sees and feels the touching. She is feeling the sensations at the location she believes her physical body really is. But her body and the real place where the touching is going on is six feet further back as you can see in the picture. She is automatically matching the feeling place with the touching place that she is watching. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. What does this example show and what does it mean? What this video example demonstrates for us is that our sensations are felt where we think they are supposed to be felt and not where they are actually happening. Isn't it interesting that you can be over here and feel someone touching you but because of a trick of your visual location system you think that you are really somewhere else and being touched over there. Wouldn't you think that if you were being touched on your back right now right here that you could tell no matter what you were looking at? If the visual projection system were suddenly turned off or if it suddenly showed the curtains in front of her instead of her back she would then feel the touching in the real place on her back where she is actually standing. We are projecting our physical body and the sensations that go with it in the location where we think we are. However, if we get confused and think we are somewhere that we are not, our sensations go to the new location and it makes for a weird sensation. We are here but we feel someone touching us over there. This is similar to the phantom limb syndrome where we have a feeling in a place where there is nothing there to go with the feeling. This video example shows and proves that your touch sensations are a separate function of your energy body form and that they are brought together to seem realistic and believable. Okay let's look at this illustration here. In the first picture it says it's a perfect match. The actual location and the feeling location they are both at the same location. Here you can see the red arrow it says actual touching location that's where she's actually touching her. The body is 
the body seems there and it's being felt there. So with the visual system with no visual trickery just standing there I mean with your eyes closed someone touches you on your back where you think you're being touched is where you feel it. I mean that's that's right where your body is. Now we're going to go with visual trickery which is the other picture. They don't match. The actual location and the feeling location they are at different locations. Here in the red, the actual touching location is still in the same place. But because of the visual trickery, she thinks her body is way forward from where she actually is. Body location seems over here, tricked. The feeling is felt over where she thinks her body is. Now that's got to be a weird sensation to be feeling something over there. I mean, I mean, I can't even imagine that because how can you feel something happening at a place that's six feet away from you? That is really weird. Six feet ahead of her, she's feeling it because she has visual trickery. Because of the visual trickery, where the actual physical activity is going on and where the feeling of the actual physical activity is, is six feet apart. Isn't that odd? That goes to show you that your sensations are projected in the same place where your body is projected and normally they sync up. They match. You get touched on your arm, you look down, and where you're feeling that you're being touched is the same place where your arm is. But can you imagine being touched on your arm, but you're feeling it somewhere else. Here, you're feeling in a different location, but this is the thing. Where the location is, there's not even a body there. There's no body there. Okay. We have already seen that our sensation of touch can be felt in a place where we don't even have a body. We can have a feeling of touch where there is no flesh to be felt. What about our other senses? Could they be misplaced also? Our most important sense by far is our eyesight. We even used our eyesight in the last video example to figure out where our body was. After all, we obviously couldn't rely on our sense of touch to figure out where our body was. How weird would it be if the physical body and the sensations system somehow got out of sync? What if our sense of sight got mixed up and was experienced in the wrong place? What if someone had their vision moved to their fingertips? That would be very weird. Could that really happen? If we were truly physical bodies and with real systems that functioned like we think they do, this could never happen. How could a fingertip see? That could never happen. Or could it? To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 10, Segment Number 12. Let your quest for knowing continue. Options Click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide with links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Or Click on the blue arrow to start watching the video, How to Use Your God Power. Or, click on the green arrow to start watching the video, The Meaning of Meaning. Up next, Special Video Options. And, here how to download the course ebooks, MP3 audios, videos, and the slideshows. Right now, for free. Now switching to the special video options menu. One moment please. Options menu. 
click on your selection number, or wait for the free download information, coming up next. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with the free download information. Pause the video now, if you need more time to review the available selections. Now switching to the free download information. One moment please. Download all of chapter number one, for free. What is your God power and how to use it? Available download formats include the Adobe PDF ebook with the transcript and closed caption files as well. MP3 audiobook, Windows Media Video, Slideshows, Flash Movie, and iPod MP4. To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. Special Excerpts, Secrets of Life and Death What is Incarnation? Download this special report, for free. Available download formats include The Adobe PDF, eBook MP3 Audiobook Windows Media Video Slideshows Flash Movie And iPod, MP4 To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. The three biggest lies of all time, and why believing them could kill you. Download this special report, for free. Available download formats include The Adobe PDF, eBook MP3 audiobook Windows Media Video Slideshows Flash Movie And iPod, MP4 To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. Chapter 5, Special Excerpts Number 1 Attracting What You Want Understanding Attraction, Including Special Techniques Download this special report, for free. Available download formats include The Adobe PDF, eBook MP3 Audiobook Windows Media Video Slideshows Flash Movie And iPod, MP4 to get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. How to Use Your God Power The Master's Course by Richard Lee McKim Jr. The entire course is available at Amazon.com in DVD-ROM format. 40 CD audio book and an 18 DVD set delivery by postal service and by immediate download as well go to amazon.com or use the direct link below to get all the how to use your god power course materials and products. Let your quest for knowing continue.